first commercial success of 802.11 based products occurred in the late 90s, so 1999-2000. Really the, the whole consumer market adoption of Wi-Fi 802.11 products began with uh, Steve Jobs and his vision at Apple of having wireless connectivity in the Apple airport and the corresponding uh, laptop device. In the early days, uh, consumers loved Wi-Fi. Consumers love Wi-Fi today. And they loved Wi-Fi back in 1999 and 2000 because of the flexibility that it, that it gave. Well, the first Ethernet was inside of Xerox and its initial success was connecting the brand new personal computers being built at Xerox together in a big internet inside of Xerox. But then in 1980, we decided to take Ethernet out in, and make it a worldwide standard. And the general method for doing that was, of course, to promote the benefits of standards, competition and uh, focused investment and interconnectivity. And until the internet, each computer maker had their own interconnection standards. And so therefore, you couldn't connect the whole world up. And the uh, standards, the uh, TCP IP standards, those are the protocol standards, made by the internet community and the IEEE 802 standards, principally Ethernet, became the standardized plumbing for this worldwide uh, interconnected network. Well, I would say the processes of IEEE 802 were historically important and uh, I'm so grateful that they happened. And the, uh, the standard, the initial standard of Ethernet was hard fought uh, and then uh, began a process of evolving the standard and branching the standard as different requirements came up.